Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, teacher. How was your day? Fine? I'm fine. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Vamos a ver quiénes están ya por aquí. Veo que faltan varios todavía. Let's see. Incredible. It's one day to finish. Seven, April 7th. Adriana Marcel. Adriana Marcela, no here yet. Si estoy en la lista correcta. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Ana Alicia. Carolina Abigail. Presentista. Okay. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Nice. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Great. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace. No, here. Jonathan. Present. Okay. Janet. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Nice. Karen and Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Excellent. Kevin René. Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Noé Ortiz. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Cuando es así chorrito que no me contesten, digo yo, ¿será mi micrófono? No, teacher, me había ido a otra página ahorita y no podía pasarla. <risa> ok, ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Teacher, ya vine presente, Adriana Jiménez. Okay, very good. <laughs> Mario Angel. Mario Nota. Luz Angelica. Joana. Present teacher. No es viernes, no es viernes. Viernes que es el tráfico feo, ¿verdad? Uy, mañana, saber cómo va a estar el tráfico. Siendo previo a vacaciones y siendo viernes. José Alfredo. Yo, 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 yo me presenté, teacher. Por si ya me llamó. <risa> Tení una llamada, sorry. Joana, ah, justo. Acabo de pasar por allí. Muy bien. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher, estoy camino a casa. Ok. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. Está David. Es Present así. teacher, perdón que voy entrando. <ríe> y a decir, ese sí es raro que no esté David. Va, ahí está, muy bien, David. Vaya, vamos a ver los que tal vez entraron después de que los llamé. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Ok. Mario Ángel. Present. 
Noé. Noé, Noé. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Teacher. Hoy. Este, fíjese de que ahorita estoy, bueno, voy para un funeral. Voy a estar de oyente. Ok. Eh, no sé, ahí sí, cualquier cosa me avisa. Voy a estar pendiente del teléfono, dicha. Ok, perfecto. Cabal, yo acabo de venir de uno. Sí. Así pasa. Ok, Luis. Vamos a ver. Eh, Luis Edgardo. Luis, Luis, Luis. No here. No here. Kevin. Karen Stephanie. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Buen provecho. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. No, okay. Ana. Ana Alicia, Adriana, Adriana. Present teacher. Muy bien. Ok. Bueno, today eh, we are going to be talking about instructions. Instructions, how to do a lot of things, right? how to complete a form, because we are going to be uh, completing a, a permission form, how to do different things, and what questions you can ask if you want people to, to help you. How do I do this? Can you suggest? What do you suggest? So we have uh, some phrases that we can use when we want to ask uh, people for help. Remember, sometimes we will give, a, a, we will receive the, the instructions automatically, but in some other cases, we will have to ask for them, okay? So those are a couple of things that we are going to be talking about today. Yesterday, a ver, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What were we talking about? Who can tell me? Mm -hmm. What were we talking about yesterday? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eve went. Now is ox in mode. Oi. <laughs> okay. Oye, esas computers se nos han hecho bilingües. Claudia Carolina, vaya Claudia Carolina. Okay, so <laughs> what do you remember about yesterday's class? Vamos a ver. What were we talking about? Who can tell me? Conditions, teacher. Uh -huh. Practical, uh -huh. practically, practically condition, right? So we were talking about clauses, clauses. How do you call these clauses? that we were talking about yesterday? How do you call them? Hmm? I'm going to show you. Ah, I thought. We were talking about if clauses and when clauses, right? When do we use them? We use if and when to join clauses. But when do we use this structure? Who can tell me? When do we use clauses? If and when? 
when for usual situation and if for an unusual situation. Exactly. So that's a conditional situation. Uh, so remember, when is usual, but if it's unusual. So it says, when, when I forget my cell phone at home, I send an email from work telling, hey, I forgot my cell phone. So if you call me, I won't answer because my phone is at home, okay? That is something usual or unusual that you forget your phone. It depends, right? For some people that can be usual, so it's common for them to forget the phone. For others could be unusual, yes? If I'm late, I send a message to my boss saying I'm going to arrive late. If I get up late, I take a shower in five minutes, <laughs> right? When I don't have breakfast, I get a headache. When I don't drink coffee, I feel sleepy. So you know what happens when you do something or if you do something or if you don't do it, right? So you know exactly what happens in those cases or in those situations. Okay, questions. Questions about this structure? No, yes, too easy. Too easy. En la tarea está muy fácil. La tarea me van a estar preguntando. Está bueno, ahí me escribe. <ríe> ahí me escribe, teacher, qué pasó aquí, qué hay, qué se hace. No problem. No problem. Va. Ok. No questions then. No, verdad, está fácil. Hay otros conditionals, pero esos los vamos a ver más allá. Ahorita, mm, mm, no yet. Vamos a mover esto que yo lo puse muy abajo. Ok. Jeje. Ahí está. Vaya. Let's move to these eh, questions. Today we're talking about permission forms, but also remember when you have to complete a permission form, there are also some instructions to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where do you usually request a permission form? Where? Uh, when we are working, for example. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When you are working, where? Where do you where do you request a permission? If I need, if I need a per, like the like the screen said, if I need a permission. Uh -huh. Okay. That will answer the question why. Why do you request a permission form? Why do you request a permission form? I request a permission form if I'm sick. Okay. Vamos a ver. Why do you request a permission form? We are not a pal analysis. Why do you when we when we are going to break a rule, not break a rule, just break the normal behavior. Mm, if you're going to be absent, right? If you're going to be absent, because if you are going to make a fault, 
you don't complete a permission form. You have to give an excuse like, oops, so sorry, right? But if you are going to be absent or if you're going to leave early, you need to request a permission form, right? That is, if you're going to be absent and if you're going to be or to leave early or to arrive late, yeah? Because the permission form is permission for not being at the workplace, right? Okay. Um, where do you usually request a permission? Where? Where? Where I work? In human resource. Uh -huh. Okay. Where I work, I request a permission form in the human resources area. Now, check the next question. Who is the last person who signs the permission form? My boss. Mm -hmm. That's the boss. The first is you, right? The first person yeah. is you. When you request for the permission, you, come, you sign the form that your boss is the person who last signs the form and puts a check where it says paid or not paid, right? That's the boss, the one that's, okay. Chequecito, paid or not paid? Usually not paid, right? Most of the time. Okay, questions? Okay, bye. Yesterday, we were reading this conversation, but today we are going to make a couple of changes. I want you to change. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no, Jets here. Okay, where do you want to start? Change this, okay? Because we are going to ask any other question. So here you have some other questions. Instead of saying, what about how to request a permission? You will say, how do I, how do I request for a permission? How do I, know what to do, right? Because when you are new, it's like, ¿y ahora qué? ¿Y aquí qué se hace y cómo? Right? So you can change your questions. Can you show me how to, and you complete the idea, right? Do you know how to, how do I, about, how do I go about, Okay, about completing a form, of completing a permission. Because to me, I don't know what you think, but to me, it doesn't sound logic to me. It's my primer día de trabajo. Y lo primero que se me ocurre es preguntar cómo pido permiso para no venir. O sea, no sé ustedes qué dicen, pero a mí no me suena logic. <laughs> ¿Verdad? So let's look for some other question. And that of completing a permission form can be like your second question. And the other thing we are going to add is this. First, agreguele que, right? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, do this. Second, se acuerdan de las palabras de secuencia. Porque se la puse. Firstly, secondly, Finally, que no vamos a poner tantos procedures, right? To do something. So firstly, secondly, and finally. Yeah? Firstly, secondly, and finally. And here we have some examples. These are examples of how to replace a light bulb, right? That firstly, turn off the electricity. Secondly, remove the light bulb. Then screw in the new screw in the new light bulb. Finally, turn the electricity on and switch on the light. 
you can also use after that or then, ¿verdad? Or you can use first instead of firstly, second instead of secondly, right? Okay, so you can change. Remember, you say, firstly, turn off the electricity. Oh, first, turn off the electricity. Second, remove the light bulb. After that, screw in the new light bulb. And finally, que es el último, siempre va a ser finally. Okay? So, we are going to go further in the conversation. Remember, I'm going to leave you these questions for you to copy them and take them into account in the conversation. And then you can ask for some, ask in some other way. Don't ask just the question that you have in the conversation, right? Porque ahí estamos fácil, nosotros ya estamos grandes. <laughs> we can do something more complicated. Okay, so change the question. How do I go about completing a form? See, what do you suggest for fixing or for answering a client's email? So ask about something more concrete, right? Uh, what is the first step for asking for a permission? So use other words, right? Use other words to ask. What is the best way to ask for a permission when you're absent? What is the best way to answer the phone? Because sometimes some companies tell you you have to answer giving the name of the company. Yes? I remember I was working with a lawyer a long time ago when I was younger. <laughs> I won't say young, younger, right? I remember I used to work with a lawyer and he said, never say if the person asks, is the boss there at the office? Never say yes. Say who wants to talk to him? until the person has identified himself or herself and you know him or her and you know it's my client, you can tell them I'm here or not. If no, no, for security, right? So you can ask that, what is the best way to answer the phone? What is the best way to answer an email to a client? What is the best way to, if you want to ask for a permission, that's okay. But look for another question or another way to ask for it, okay? And remember what I told you, right? Next thing, give the instructions on how to do the process for that activity that the person wants to do. Estamos clear? Clear, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Vaya. We are going to go to the rooms right now. Miss, miss, excuse me. No podía encender el micrófono. Y eh, what, what is the meaning of first of all? First of all. Es como primero, similar to first. In, in which cases we use first of all and firstly? First of all, not in sequence, because you cannot say second of all, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, first of all, do this, but that's it. You're not giving more things or more mm -hmm. instructions. But if you're giving more instructions, you better say oh, firstly or secondly. Firstly, secondly, finally, or first and second. Porque si ocupa firstly, tiene que usar secondly. No puede decir first and secondly. O no. first and second. Entonces siempre hay que llevar una, una... Ay, ¿cómo se llama eso? Pero... Ah. Que tiene que llevar lo mismo en, en, en secuencia, digamos. Se ocupa secondly. Se ocupa secondly. 
o se ocupa firstly, va a usar secondly. Y por eso es que no podemos decir first of all para sequence, así, cuando va a des, eh, desarrollar un proceso, porque eh, tendría que decir first of all, second of all, in second of all, yo creo que no existe, <ríe> ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, como para secuencia o, o, pros, o descripción de un proceso, eh, mejor no. Uh -huh. Solamente, si solo va a decir una cosa, pues sí, vea. First of all, remember to do this, and that's it. Como, que, como quien le dice, la primera cosa en la mañana que tú hagas es esto. Uh -huh. Entonces, en ese caso, sí, perfectamente, porque solo le va a decir la primera cosa y ya después ay, vea qué hace. Pero yo solo le digo, lo primerito que hace es contestar el, el email o contestar el teléfono. First of all, answer the phone. Right? First of all, mm, open the door. O first of all, clean my table. O sea, lo primero que haga, clean my table y no importa qué hace después. O sea, en el orden que hace todas las demás cosas, no importa. Pero lo primero, esto. Yo en ese caso sí puede usar first of all. Pero para de, ya de des, eh, desarrollar un proceso, Vamos a usar o firstly o first. Right? Vaya, any other question? No, oh, yeah, teacher. No. Did you copy this? <laughs> así me están haciendo. I got it. Así, así did you. Ok, <risa> no vamos a hablar así. Ok, vaya pues, yo los mando a los grupos. Tengo identificada dos personas trabajando y uno manejando, ¿correcto? Sí, ¿verdad? Todos los demás estamos, estamos libres. Para mi casa, teacher. José Alfredo. Sí. Ah, vaya, tengo un funeral, dos manejando y dos trabajando. Oh, my goodness. Va. Espero recordar quiénes son, pero no los vaya a mandar en, en parejados con otro que sí está aquí. Ok, vamos a ver. Dating, groups of... Ajá, creo que soy 18, sí. Mis matemáticas. Y así ve, a ver, me ven así. <ríe> Counting, vamos a ver, Ana Alicia, Diego y Karen. Diego, ¿quién es el que va manejando? Diego, no. Aquí José. estoy, teacher. No, aquí ah, estoy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Edwin, José Alfredo va manejando y Karen Janet está aquí, ¿verdad? Karen Janet. Yes. Yes, teacher. Carla Lorena, Luz Angélica y Rosa Hilda. Perfecto, todos aquí. Claudia, es que fíjense qué bien chistoso este Zoom, porque me deja juntos los que están trabajando. Vamos a ver, Claudia, Carolina, Grace, Michelle y Vanessa. Yo creo que están aquí las tres. David, Jonathan, David, David, you're not working, right? No, llegando a casa. Ah, va, qué galán, qué galán. David, Jonathan y Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio anda caminando. Vamos a cambiarlo con... Para que esté Jonathan de oyente allí. Eh, Carolina, Joana y Kevin. Carolina working. Let's change with. Grace, Michelle, are you here today? Grace, Grace. Grace Michelle, hello. No. Yes, teacher, present. Ajá, pero está present, 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 completa de Juan 100%. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ah, bye. Es que así sí la puedo mandar para acá. Ok, bye. Es que me quedan cabalitos, cabalitos los que están trabajando. Vaya. Creo que solo el grupo uno están todos completos. 
Ay, no se asusten si los muevo de repente, oye, en los jalo. Y yo, ¿qué pasó? Estaba en otro grupo, me parece aquí. Pero si veo que alguien me está solito los, los, y en otro están tres, los ando jalando. Oye, vaya, let's go. You know what to do? No question? Repeat, please, teacher. Ok, vaya, le voy a compartir pantalla nuevo. Ok. You will practice this conversation, ya, yeah? practice the conversation, pero, one, change this question, instead of saying, what about how to request a permission, you can ask, can you show me how to request a permission, can you show me how to answer an email, can you show me, cualquiera de estas preguntas, cualquiera. How do I, or can you show me how to, do you know how to, obvio que es el jefe si va a saber. How do I go about transferring the phone? What do you suggest? What is the best, the first step to answer the phone? What is the first step to ask for a permission? What is the best way to complete a permission form? Entonces, cualquiera de estas preguntas, la manera de reemplazar esta. ¿Ok? Y obvio, a la conversación le pueden cambiar cualquier otra cosa que quieran. Aquí en vez de yes, sí, yes, me, yes, madame. Si quiere, do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Do you know the procedures to do this activity? Dependiendo de lo que ustedes hacen en su trabajo, adaptenla. Oye, adapt the conversation, do whatever. Okay? Vamos. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Hola, hola, teacher. Yes, yeah, teacher. ¿Quién? No, Kevin. ¿Quién va manejando? Yo, Kevin. Kevin Pineda. Ah, vaya, Kevin. Va. Es que no lo miraba yo. ¿Quién, ¿Quién está hablando? Veía abierto el micrófono de luz, pero no era luz la que oía. Vaya, Kevin, ahí lo he mandado. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Noé. Hello, teacher. Noé. Hola, es Noé. Acaba eh. de venir. No lo he mandado. Sí, a es que... Estoy en el, tra el trabajo, este, este, así que me voy a, este, me voy a, este, a, estoy en oyente, pero. Ahí lo voy a mandar al grupo de Ana y Karen para que las oiga y si quiere hablarle, sí, les habla. Sí. Oye, bye. Bueno, gracias. Sí, está bueno que me diga y por eso les pregunto, porque así yo los mando en tríos y si no puede, no puede, usted no puede leer, no puede escribir, pero le puede así dar pistas para que los que están escribiendo completen, ¿verdad? Bye. Ok, so remember, change the question, change whatever you want in the, in the conversation and finish giving the instructions. ¿Sí? Sounds good, I will explain them to, to you. So, first, second, then, And finally, o sea, úsenme la sequencing words y termínenme esto. ¿Ya? Porque acá no, no se termina, solamente le dice first y quedó en el limbo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, you are going to finish giving the rest of the instructions. Any question? Yes, no, teacher. Uy, no. Hi, teacher. We will try to do it. Ok, perfect. Allá vamos. Recuerde, pueden cambiar esta actividad, no solo el inicio de la pregunta, sino que todo. How to request a permission, how to answer the phone, how to answer the email, how to, to paint the house, how to, cualquier cosa puede preguntar. Ok. Vaya, there we go. Diego, 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 cuénteme. Hola. ¿Cuál es su estado? Available. Available, perfecto. 
a mandarlo por aquí. Sí, Sharon nos ayuda a, para compartir. Hoy oh, sí, thank you. Ya los, ya les pongo. Vamos a ver quién me queda, Carla. Aquí lo mando al tre, Diego, que veo que Carla no tiene problemas. Carla, Carla. Al tres, ¿le aparece? Sí, va, perfecto. Uy, el dos, José Alfredo, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, lo veo que no entra todavía. Try to join. Ahí está. Carla, cheque si le aparece la invitación. Edwin. Hello. Edwin, Edwin, no here. Ahí está. Try to join Carla. Carla, Carla, Edwin. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. José Alfredo va manejando, creo. Pues sí. He <ríe> mandado cuatro gentes, Karen. Créame, que aquí me he quedado mandándole chorro de gente, pero no entiendo por qué ninguno se conecta. Me la voy a llevar, fíjese. Vaya, está bien, teacher. Porque veo que no. Vaya, José Alfredo, lo muevo a otro también. Try to move. Ok. Hi. Hola, teacher. Hello. No es el nombre que me Ok. Espera, dicho que estamos esperando que cargue la pantalla. Ok. Vaya, como aquí son varios, traten de hablar todos. No, lo que pasa es que no está trabajando. Entonces solo somos Ana y yo. Ah, vaya, pero puede decir una, dos. Ana tiene apagado el micrófono. <risa> Ana, ¿qué le pasa? Pero tan callada hoy. ¿Qué es esto? Es la página 43. Ya yes. estoy. 43. Voy, 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 voy. Y que fíjese que. Pena, me da usted que esto sí que es lento. ¿Mm? Ahí está. Ya, no puedo. Lo único es que las preguntas que dijo la Miss, que cambiáramos, yo las tengo. En... ¿Quieren que se las mande? Porfa, porfa, mis, porfa, al chat. Chat, Al de WhatsApp, porque Zoom se pone muy loco cuando uno le pega cosas en el chat. Ay, verá qué chorudo de pone. Va aquí. Estoy esperando que ponga la pantalla. 
Mm. Ya. No. Es que no va a regalar la. <risa> y yo, no, ahorita. Ahí está. <risa> va, ok. Hoy sí. Va. Y no sé. A mí me cayó las palabras también. No, ¿verdad? Esas es de fe, sé, con eso sí, no problema, ¿verdad? No, como de ahí lo que la teacher dijo, que quitáramos ya lo último que dice, what about how to request a permission. Ajá, ajá. O sea, lo sustituyamos por otra pregunta y luego fears y complementemos ahí. Exactly. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? Aquí para hacer la continuidad de la oración, me está preguntando por dónde quieres empezar, ¿no? Sí. A conocer los procesos de la... Ajá. Ahí usted puede preguntar por cuál... O sea, usted puede cambiar el proceso con el que usted quiere empezar. Usando las, las que nos mandó para el chat, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ok, espérenme. Por ejemplo, ¿puedes you show me how to read el sistema? ¿Cómo? El sistema. Ajá, exactly. exactly. Entonces sería, ¿can you show me how to the system? How to use. How to use ¿Cómo? How to use the system. Uh -huh, okay. Veamos. Oh my god, yeah. sounds good. I will explain you. <laughs> I will explain it to you. I will explain it to you. Uh -huh. Porque no Firstly, puede explicar a la persona, pero le puede explicar algo a la persona. Firstly, get in the platform. Pero no, no sé si es plataforma. En... Uh, entonces, platform. Tenemos que... The platform. Yeah. Ajá, the platform. Firstly, go to the platform. Sí, en este caso, teacher. Ajá. ¿Cuál Se supone caso? que ya le estoy respondiendo, Ashley. Ajá, vaya dándole los pasos y diga. Teacher, en este caso, cuando estoy preguntando. Ajá. ¿Qué quiere saber cuando está preguntando? No, 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 es que le iba a preguntar lo mismo que, que Ana, que si iba, iba a explicar sobre el sistema. O sea, tenía que dar la respuesta. Exactly. Vaya. Por ejemplo, si usted dice en la pregunta, vamos a ver cuál, cuál frase escogió Ana para preguntar. Perdón, Karen escogió Can you show me how to use the system? Ah, ok, vaya. Can you show me how to use the system? And then you will say eh, Sounds good. I will explain it. Porque solo es una cosa. I will explain it to you. First, y empiece a darle el, el orden de qué es lo que va a hacer. Así como el ejemplo que les puse de cómo cambiar un foco. I, I was saying, first go to the platform. Open the platform. Ajá, ¿cómo sería? Entras a la plataforma, te registras con tu correo. Y... Te va indicando los pasos uno por uno. Tal vez podría ser. First, open the platform. Second, register with your email. Then, de así le va usando, va usando la sequencing words para cada una de las instrucciones que le va a ir dando. Así que le iba copiando lo que iba diciendo. Open the platform. Second, register with your email. Email. Mm -hmm. Puede usar then o after that, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. After that. 
get into ¿Qué hace usted en su, en su trabajo, Karen? Yo soy contadora. Tenemos un sistema contable. Le voy a mandar el ejemplo de la light bulb. Uh -huh. Y por ejemplo, si usted como contadora me diera que los pasos para entrar a cuando tengo que pagar el IVA, vaya. Vaya. Eh, por decir así, nosotros solo hacemos el trabajo y el cliente decide si pago o no. Vaya, pero en el caso yo lo tengo que pagar, hacemos la Do you eh, know the ay ay ay? Do you know about the ¿qué, ¿Cuál es la palabra que quiero ocupar? ¿Cómo funciona eh, el sistema? El funcionamiento del sistema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería de function 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 system no. How does the the system function? Ay, a ver. Oh, How do that? you know about the operation maybe of the system? Do, uh -huh. do you know how the system functions? How the function or, or operation? Mm -hmm. Allí le mandé al, al chat de, de, de WhatsApp las preguntas y, las, y el ejemplo de, de las instructions. Soy. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Do you know how the system function? Así, function. Me falta una S. Function. Ajá, how the system functions or works si no quiere complicarse la vida. <laughs> works. Dijeron un complemento a esta, pero no me acuerdo qué dijeron. Así sería, do you know how the system function of our company? Yes. Sí. How the, the, the system of our company functions. Porque el sistema de... Uh, how the system of our company functions. Okay. Functions. No, no yet, sir. Okay. Uh, and the answer uh, sería a la que vamos a utilizar. What is the first step? Uh -huh. Okay. What is the first step? The first step. The first step. Luego sería el sounds good. Creo que lo eliminamos. ¿Cuál? Eh, ya luego sería el sounds good. Ahí lo eliminamos y sería como la respuesta. I will explain them to you first. Y ahí seguimos el. I will explain it. No, teacher. I will explain it to you. I will explain, explain it to you. It. En vez de them. Mm -hmm. I will explain to you. Two. 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 And the floor. To you. Arriba se. Sería turn on. No, on o oh, turn on. Ah, sí. And then turn. Turn on the computer. ¿Por qué están mm -hmm. escondidos ustedes? ¿Cómo, teacher, estamos escondidos? Ah, teacher. <laughs> Están <risa> escondidos. Teacher, que esas. Este, le enseñamos nuestra. ¿Cómo vamos? Uh -huh. Pero me quiero ver que 
espérenme, espérenme. Quiero ver, Carolina, si puedo compartirla. Ah, pues Carolina. voy a dejar de compartir. Está. Esta, aquí estamos, teacher. Good morning, Marina, and welcome to our company. Me dice Carolina. <coughs> Le digo, good morning, thank you, Carolina. Y Carolina dice, do you, no do you know rules of... The rules. The, the rules. rules. Mm -hmm. Of our company. Y póngale la H a thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, ahí voy, ahí voy, ahí voy. Uh -huh. Y por aquí vamos que si conoce alguna regla y decíamos que primero como que saludar en las mañanas es green, greet, teacher. Eh, sí, en vez de la segunda E pongo una A. Great, sí. Greet. Greet. Espérenme. Ah, pues no, estaba bueno. Sorry. Great. <ríe> sí, sorry. Hasta que lo escribo a mano, si me no. First, firstly, solo en firstly, cambiele la R y la I. Primero va la I, después la R. Firstly. Ajá. Sí. Firstly, ajá. Ajá. Wait in the morning. Secondly, con D. Aquí en la secondly. Secondly. Ah, así lo tira aquí. Secondly. Ajá, con D. Ah, pues sí. Secondly, clean your desk and then turn on the computer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y por aquí vamos, Ficho. Está. Nice. Vaya, entonces Carolina, ¿qué? Eh. Que ocupamos el den sería ocupemos final sí, aquí. Bueno, yo le dije las algunas reglas entonces usted me puede decir que si tiene alguna sugerencia teacher what do you su suggest es eh, tú tienes alguna sugiere? sugerencia ajá, ajá qué sugiere? sugiere sí Uh -huh. Entonces usted me puede decir, Carolina, what do you suggest? Suggest. Mm -hmm. Y aquí que podemos sugerir. Um, I suggest, teacher, se podría decir. I suggest, suggest that you. Suggest I. I suggest, no, ahí va bien. I, ahí va bien. Sí. I suggest. I, I suggest that you. Y ahí le pone, oh, be careful with my glasses. Be careful. This I, I suggest. Okay. I suggest that you. ¿Qué podría sugerir? Eh, use the. No, um. Use a eh, mascarilla, teacher. Use your mask all the time. Use your mask. What do you need? I use it, but use mask. Oh. All. all. No, pero all the A L L all the time. What did you? Yeah. All A L L.
Ponte. No de viejo. Ponte otra. Así que es un viejo. Viejo el tiempo. Sí, bueno, viejo el tiempo, no nosotros. All the time. Entonces, Caro, ¿qué me puede decir? It's a good idea. ¿Qué otro tenemos? Teacher, qué bueno que vino. Hello, tell me. Teacher, este, es que estábamos platicando acerca de, de la, del examen final. Uh -huh. Entonces, el examen final en la parte 1 uh, está como dividido en dos. Y las, las, la última parte, que son las últimas dos preguntas, la 4 y la 5, no tiene instrucción. Ah, okay. Entonces, y siento que me falta algo, pero no sé si es el do, el das, o el did, o el has, el have, no sé. Vamos a ver. Sí, como ya lleva entonces, de todo lo que han visto en el curso. Ajá, entonces, sí. pero siento que me falta algo. ¿Y cómo van con la conversación? Ya estuvo. Ah, ya terminamos, sí. Ah, va, excelente. Ya estuvo, sí. A piece of cake. Y... Morales. A piece of cake. Vamos a ver. Me dice parte uno. Uh -huh. La cuatro y la cinco. Ah... Es de plano que dice instruction si no hay instruction. Pero, pero ya no fui a buscar Para, el manual. Este, bueno. Fui a buscar el manual y eso Ajá. estoy utilizando el has y, y el conjugando has. el verbo. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Has, present perfect o simple. O present simple. David. Es de... ¿Qué le digo de dónde lo encontré. De la clase 12 aproximadamente. Y es de Present Perfect. Ah, Present Perfect. ¿En qué página lo encontró, David? Yo sé que yo voy, porque yo cada clase la voy guardando lo que la teacher nos va dando, entonces ahí lo encontré. No en el manual, sino que en la clase que ella nos ah. Que voy archivando las la clasecitas. Qué genial. Ah, pues. Ahí tendría que ir buscándolo entonces. Bueno, sí, a mí ya me funcionó cuando apliqué eso. Ah, ok. Vale. Ah, pues eso voy a hacer yo. Sí, porque la primera parte es match, ¿verdad? Como sí. That's the meaning. Uh -huh. Tengo que hacerlo todo para que me deje ver las respuestas. Vamos. Sí, es con el present perfect. Esas dos sí se les fue este, en la, las instructions. Pero sí es okay. con el present perfect. Present perfect, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Ya es hora de la attendance, teacher. Es hora de la attendance. Vámonos. Yo creo que ya acabaron, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Ok, let's go. Okay. Bien bonitas las conversaciones que se han hecho. Ya los anduve vigilando. Jeje, I was silent. Vaya, vamos a darles 
unos segundos para que regresen. Number one. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya están todos. Ah, no. Ah, todavía falta. Seven seconds. Okay. Vamos a ver. Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. She has a problem when with the internet. Oh. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Jonathan David. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Ellis. No, Karen. Ay, no, siempre, es que siempre le cambio el nombre a alguien. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Me suena bonito, Karen Elizabeth. <risa> tenga una hija, ya le facilité la vida yo. Karen Elizabeth, pasé. <risa> Karen Janet. Karen y Stephanie. Karen y Stephanie. No está Karen y Stephanie. Karen, Karen, Karen. Sí, ahí anda. No le funciona el micrófono. Present teacher. <ríe> La estoy viendo el micrófono abierto y no le. Present teacher. Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Masha, Carla, aquí estoy. Sí, hoy sí, ya le oí. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok, se me había escondido usted. <risa> eh, Kevin. Present. Luis Edgardo. Luis, Luis, Luis. No está Luis. No se ven. A ver. Uh -huh. Ya los escaneé. No. Luis Mauricio. <ríe> sí, Karen, hoy sí ya la vi. Eh, Luis Mauricio. Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Mario. Mario Mario. Luz Angélica. Luz Luz. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Bueno, ok. Now we are teacher. going. Hi, ha, ha. ¿Dónde andaba? Se me había fugado. <ríe> el Inter, ¿verdad? Está fallando el Inter. Sí, se oye. Sí. Like a robot. Así. 
<laughs> like a robot. Vaya, let's see. Who would be my first? Bueno, no le voy a compartir pantalla porque por no, ¿verdad? Son ustedes los que van a, a presentar su conversation. Volunteers or victims. No vamos en orden, ¿verdad? What do you think? Karen, do you want? Ok. Ahí está, me llega. ¿va? Ya me Ok. Good afternoon, Ana, and welcome to you, our company. Thank you, Karen. Do you want, do you know the procedure and rule of our company? No, Karen, not yet. Ok, where do you want to start? Can you show me how to use the system, please? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. Firstly, open the platform. Second, register the user. Then, enter the form to file. After, attach the annex and declare. Finally, the pagement order is generated. Thank you so much, Karen. You're welcome. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who will be my next volunteers? Uh -huh. No tiene, David. Sí, ahorita. Okay. Listo. Comienzo yo. Sí. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know how to use the copy of the of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how can I enlarge impressions? Sound good. I will explain them to you. First, press the on button. Second, select how much percentage do you want to enlarge. And finally, press the green star button. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> hey, nice, love it. Excellent. Who will be the next one? Next, next. A ver, we had group number one and group number five. A ver, number three, Diego, Karen, Luis Mauricio, Rosalita. Okay. Okay, good morning, Karen, and welcome to our company. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diego. Do you know, do you know how the system of our company functions? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Okay. <laughs> What is the first step? Okay, I will I will explain to you. First, do you have to create an user and password? Second, your boss will give a tutorial for induction. And finally, you will have a pra have practice in the system for a week. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Very nice, great. Let's see, number four, we have Carolina Abigail, Claudia Carolina, and Marina Vanessa. Bye, teacher, un segundito. 
Solo quería compartir ahorita, ahorita. Carolina. Ok. Ok, Marina. Good morning, Marina. And welcome to our company. Good morning. Thank you, Carolina. Do you know the rules of the company? Yes, of course. Can you say someone who? Firstly, read in the morning. Secondly, clean your desk and then turn on the computer. What do you suggest? I suggest by pandemic that do that you use the mask all the time. It's a good idea. Then what, what else, Marina? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. And then we have a number six, Grace, Joanna, and Kevin. Grace, 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 Grace. Yes, Grace. teacher, I'm here. Okay, Joanna. Señorita Joana, no me voy a llamar así como llaman en los micrófonos, en los megáfonos. Señorita Joana, presentarse a recepción. <ríe> Vamos, Joana. Creo que se ha levantado, teacher. Está. Porque en su, en su imagen sale solo el lugar donde se sienta. Creo que se levantó. Oh, oh. Y somos el último grupo, falta alguien más. You're the last one. Porque el grupo dos creo que no, ¿verdad, Edwin y Carla? Carla, Carla. Carla, Carla, hello. Edwin. Bueno, si no se la leo, teacher, así como nosotros la... La trabajamos. Hay que saber qué le pasó. Sí, se levantó porque ahí estaba. Mm. Bye. Go ahead, then, Grace. Ok, espérame, teacher. Solo voy a buscar la imagen. Ok. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to your company. Thanks you, Mr. Hank. Uh, can you show me how to use the printer? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Uh, can you show me how to use the printer? Yes. Uh, what about, uh, ah, no, era. sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Check to the turn on the printer. Second, check the printer. I have paper and printer cartridge. First, select the document you're going to go, you're going to print on your computer and sending. Oh, I understand. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Grace. Thank you so much. Well, now I'm going to share again. I want to show you uh, some things to consider when you, uh, Vamos a ver, when you give instructions, right? There are many other things that you can do or that you can take into consideration. Bye. Remember, first, well, we were asking these questions and we were saying that to give simple instructions, these are simple instructions. Using first, second, then finally. Or first, second, after, after that, finally, right? 
but sometimes in the when you are given instructions you see an imperative form right that's an imperative form in the instructions and of course you need to use this to give the the order of the events but in some other case you want to use some other words not just a um, you're not going to follow a process or you're not going to follow a, a, a sequence, right? The, the others are uh, first, second, then finally are when you're giving a whole process, describing a whole process on how to do something. But when you give instructions and you're not going to give a whole process, but you, can, you want to give just some of the instructions, you can give them like this. Remember, remember, imagine you already gave all the process, right? First do this, then do the second do this, next do this, finally. But then you say, hey, remember, remember, turn off the electricity before touching any cables, right? So like this, you can help the other person with extra information, right? So you're giving extra help, extra information, extra instructions. Remember, hey, remember, turn off the electricity before touching any cables. Be careful not to touch any live wires. Be careful not to not to leave the, the, the stove on, <laughs> for example. Try to see if the light bulb is broken or just loose. Loose means floja, right? Remember, we're talking about the previous instructions that were about how to replace a light bulb, right? Try not to touch the light bulb with your hands, especially if it was on, right? You need to check the wattage of the light bulb first. ¿Cuál es el voltaje? Right, that's the wattage. Remember, you need to, so you can use these words that you see in black are like words that you can use when you want to give instructions and you want people to remember something or to think about something or to do something, but you're not going to describe the whole process, right? But you want to say, hey, try not to, to touch the light bulb with your hands. You need to turn off the, the, the computer before unplugging it, right? So these are some extra words that you can use when you want to give help. Check. It's important to, right? So you're saying what else? It's important to make sure the electricity is off. It helps to wait for the light bulb to cool down before you remove it. It helps. Be sure to turn off the electricity before you touch the light bulb. Always wear gloves when you touch the light bulb. Never touch the socket with wet hands. Never touch the socket without shoes, right? Those are things that probably uh, somebody can tell you, hey, que no había pensado en eso, eh? So these are important phrases or important things that will help you uh, emphasize a new or extra information that you can give somebody to help them. Now, check the instruction verbs. Turn on, switch on, right? Turn on or switch on. Do you remember switch on, switch off? Yes. Okay, turn on, activate power of electricity. Turn on, switch on. Turn off, switch off. Deactivate power. 
Yes, they activate power or electricity. Turn off the lights when you leave. Disconnect the computer when you leave, right? This, uh, lock the door when you leave, right? Take off or remove, it's the same. Take off or remove. That means detach something from another thing. Take off, destravelo, <laughs> right? Remove the plastic before you put the metal in the microwave. Remove the, how do you say el papel aluminio, right? Remove the aluminum paper before you put, you put it in the microwave oven. Take out, remember we're talking about verbs for instructions, right? Take out, that means take one thing out from another thing. Take the television out of the box. Yeah, attach or connect, attach, put two things together. Attach will be the opposite of take out, right? Because take out is take one thing out of from another, but attach or connect is put two things together. Connect the wires. And then we have check or make sure. Make sure means be sure about something. Asegúrese, right? Be sure that the light is on. Be sure that the computer is connected before you do try to use it. Okay? Proceed or continue. Continue to steer until the mixture is thick. Continue to answer all the emails until you finish, right? Plug in. Plug in means connect to electricity. Plug out is disconnect. Plug in, connect to electricity. Plug the modem in. Plug the computer in, yeah? Put back. Put back means replace. Replace the cover after changing the battery. Put back or replace. Any question here? Yes, no? Okay, bye. No questions? Clear like your chatter. <laughs> Vaya. Después vamos a decir no sé. Pues sí, como no me dicen sí, sí, ni no. ¿Mm? Esos son verbos que eh, cuando están dando instrucciones es necesario que los manejen, los conozcan. ¿Right? Algunos ya los hemos ido viendo durante la semana. Ahorita estamos refreshing, right? Refreshing. Okay, well, now let's talk about the forms. Remember, we're talking about procedures. We're talking about processes on how to do different things. Los moveré otra vez. Ahí está. Bye. Check the procedure to request a permission. First, print the request form that is available on the intranet. Remember when we asked at the beginning of the class, where do you get a permission form? ¿Se acuerdan? Where do you get a permission form? In some cases, and you told me in the human resources office, could be, but in this case, it is in the intranet, right? So first print the request form that is available on the intranet. Fill out the form, write the reason for the permission, write the time and day you will be absent. Specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. 
ask for the department's manager's signature. Present the form at human resources office. The human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. If the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Uy, qué tristeza. Qué bueno que donde yo trabajo, no importa si el human resources firma, si el manager ya firmó. ¿Verdad? What about in your place? Porque en este caso, ¿qué pesaría más? La firma de Human Resources más que la del manager, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Do you follow these procedures in the place where you work? No. Okay, what procedures will be different? First. I go to my boss and I tell him, I tell uh, him what uh, permission I need. And he say, okay, it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you don't need to complete any form? No. Okay, perfect. What about the others? Anybody follows these steps or these procedures to request a permission? For me, as Luz, I, I go to my boss and say what I need, but then I have to request a form. Okay. And I have to uh, give the form to human resources. I have to human And resources. they say, okay. And I have to sign a uh, form. Okay. Your boss signs the form? Two, yes. Okay, very good. Well, when I work in the morning, first I go to human resources to ask for a form, right? Well, that is where I work in, in with the group or with the program I work in the afternoon. First, I go to human resources to ask for a form. Then I fill out the form. I write the reason for the permission. I specify if it is biomedical or personal reasons. Then I write uh, the name, of, well, I write the, the, the time I will be absent and the group I have classes with, right? The section and the, and the subject that I, I am supposed to be teaching at that moment. Then I have to write the name of the person who is going to cover my class, if I, if I know it. If no, I leave it like that. Then I ask for, the, for my boss, right? I ask for my boss to sign the, the, the permission or the form. And then I present it to human resources and that's it. If the boss already said yes, that's yes. That's in the afternoon. In the morning, uh, first I ask for, I ask the coordinator of the plant for a form. Then I fill out the form and all the rest of the information is exactly the, the same of the previous one. The only thing that changes is who I ask for the form to, right? For a high school, I ask for the form to the coordinator of the plant or the, of the floor. But for the other courses, I ask for the form in human resources. But the boss should always sign it. If the boss signs, that's, that's okay. That, they, that means that the permission is given. But if the boss doesn't sign, you don't have permission, right? And you just uh, present the form, a uh, sign, if, if the boss has said yes. And then the boss decides if, depending on the permission that you have, if it will be paid or not. Okay, that's the decision to be taken here. 
right? By the department, by the managed department. Okay, Pasha. So that's a procedure. Anybody follows the same procedure? So I follow almost all of them, except the last two. What about the others? Marina? What is the procedure in the place where you work to request a permission? Do you have to fill out a form or you just tell your boss, listen, I need a permission? Marina, Vanessa, not here, not here. Nos perdió Marina, Marina. Ahí le cuentan que le estuve hablando. Vamos a ver. Eh, Adriana, uy, porque están todos escondidos criaturas. Recuerden que es un requisito tener cámaras abiertas. Perdón, teacher, que me levante justito. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Penitence, penitence, penitence. <laughs> Vaya, tell me, Marina, what procedure do you follow in the company where you work to request for a permission? Me picó un santo, filoso. Ajá. What is the, do you follow all this procedure? Or you, it is shorter for you? It's, it's different. For example, um, the permission only signature about a uh, boss. Okay. But uh, do you have to fill out a form? Yes, uh, in the on the internet. Yes. Okay. Okay. You have to write the reason for the permission. The yes. Yes. Specify yes. why you will be absent. Yes, yes. Okay. In in then and fine. Specify if the do the medical or personal reason. Mm -hmm. Number six. Uh, no. Okay. Because it's the boss, right? Yes. Ah, number seven. Perdón. It's not necessary the signature of the of the human, human resource. resource. Uh -huh. yes. no, no. That's not necessary, right? It's, yes. If the boss already said yes, that's that's yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's okay. Okay, perfect. Do you give the permission to your boss or you give it to human resources? The boss. Okay. Only the boss. Ah, that's nice. Yes. Okay, very good. About David, tell me, David, what about you? What's the procedure in your uh, work? In my case, the, the procedure is the number six. Mm -hmm. As for the department manager senior, but first you have to fill out the form. Excuse me? But first you have to fill out the form. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, so the, yes, the first they print the request from that is available on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, then the ask for the department manager uh, because the as the system is the the authorization the, author, the authorization the authorization only the manager of the department oh okay mm -hmm. so if the manager says yes that's yes no problem okay Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. Now look at this. What would be situations in which you could request a permission? Mm -hmm. In what situations could you request a permission? 
because mm -hmm. not all the, 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 the situations are good reason for a permission. For example, remember one of these days we were saying, okay, if one of your friends gets married, can you ask for permission? Hmm? Pero jefa, mi, mi amiga se va a casar. <laughs> and the, the personal. Like, I don't care. <laughs> but you have no permission. Yeah? So, when can you ask for a permission and it's valid? When? In what situations? When I am sick and I need to go to the doctor. Okay. Another case? Personal when? request. Personal, pero como por qué? Uh, I don't know how do you say trámites. Legal. Ah, okay. Legal trámites. Legal trámites. Okay. Voy a sacar el DUI porque me venció y pues quién más lo va a sacar por mí. <laughs> o la licencia. O de la If there is a family Lines. emergency. If you have to. If there is a family emergency. If it is a family emergency, exactly. <clears throat> when any of my children are sick. Maternity. Mm -hmm. Oh, for maternity, if your children are sick. I'm having a baby. No, usted tiene que seguir trabajando. <laughs> of course, right? For maternity, you have to. For months now, right? Wow. In my time, it was only three months. Yes. But now, it's much better. Uh-huh. Bye. Now... We are going to move here. Imagine your colleague needs permission to be absent from work. You have to write the reason, right? What you're going to do, explain to, the, to him the procedures in your company and complete the form together, right? First, write the name, write the date, the reason why, uh, remember, we were saying that uh, the reason can be K. Well, the ones you were telling me here, right? Those would be the reasons. Because somebody in my family is sick or because I have K, whatever. So you decide what is the reason then you ask uh, for the signature I lo firman and the human as the human resources signature okay vamos a ver si todavía si tenemos tiempo so you will go to the rooms and complete the form I'm going to share Lo voy a mandar quizás a los mismos grupos para no estar con la complicación de que si sí o si no. Oye, allá vamos. De chico. Discuss and complete. Adriana. ¿Para dónde la mando? No sé. Edwin and Carla. Carla, 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 hello. Está muy bien. Carla, Carlita, no la Miki. Are you working? Vaya, Adriana, la voy a mandar al 5 entonces para que trabaje con David and Luz. Joanna, Joanna, oh, Joanna, Joanna. Here, I'm here. I, I, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, okay. Uy, me estoy poniendo ronca otra vez. Yo. Mis son pocos. Ahí está. Carla, hello. Sí. 
but could we could use that remember when we are at the pandemia we have to take the vaccination so that one could be an an example okay that could be i don't good. understand all what eh, for example ¿qué es lo que no comprende karen eh, lo que dijo ana ah but i remember eh, you have to go and get the vaccination number three or number four and you have to go in a schedule uh, in a working schedule. so you can go and ask for permission that could be your reason, that's what she's saying. Sí, Karen. Me parece. Sí, tengo una, pero tengo una duda. Vamos a hacer el A y el B. Eh, primero uno y ¿cuál vamos a hacer primero? Como se make a list of situations in which you could request permission. That was my example. But Noé, José, bye, and bye. you? La A ya la hicimos. O sea, están en el 5, Karen. Ajá. Eso tenía la duda, que hagamos como, como un procedimiento para pedir permiso, ¿verdad? Lo que tienen que hacer es llenar la form. Ah, oh, okay. ok. Uh -huh. Complete the form, porque el procedimiento ya lo pueden, ¿verdad? Entonces ahora hay que completar la forma. Ok, mi nombre es Ana. Digamos que se va a ir a poner la vacuna, ¿no es? Ok. Visito, no es. No es arriba, vea. Correcto. ¿Cuándo se va a ir a poner la... la... Digamos que mañana. Mañana es 8. ¿no? Yes. Sería April the 8th. ¿Cómo se escribiría por la vacuna? Because. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero no hemos llegado a la reason. No. This date. April. Okay. Eight thirty a.m. Come on. Eight. Eight. Eight thirty a.m. It's okay. Hoy un robotito riéndose. Hoy se nos despierta. Okay. <laughs> Aquí el único serio es Diego Teacher, pero por está durmiendo. Sí, que como que el robotito se oye. Es un robotito riéndose. Sí. Yo robot. I could ask for permission y para family member time. Teacher, ¿verdad que cada cuadro tenemos que escribir por una razón para pedir permiso? No. Sí, pero ese ya lo hicimos. ¿En serio? Sí. sí. Me iban diciendo todos ustedes. Ese lo hicimos juntos. Lo que van a hacer ahorita es complete the form. Complete mm. the permission form. Sí, porque ya no tienen mucho tiempo. Complete the permission form. De las, que, de las razones o motivos que mencionaron allí, de eso se escogen hoy. Mire, teacher, fíjese de que... Eh... Pues sí, porque como no ando buscando ayuda, ¿verdad? Para, para hacer bien la, la traducción. Entonces, como no podemos poner cita, porque uno pide permiso porque tiene una cita en el seguro, entonces se podría poner... Eh, a doctor's eh, appointment. No, appointment. Eh, porque ah. appointment es cita. Eh, eh, si es con el novio, es date. Uh. Pero para eso no le van a dar permiso. Más que no, 
Por favor, jefa, I need a permission because I have a date with the doctor. ¿Qué? Me va a decir, no, you have an appointment with the doctor. Así es que be careful. A menos que el doctor le... sea el novio. Por eso, imagine, <risa> si le pone, I have a date with the doctor, va a decir, hmm, no, <risa> no permission. <risa> <laughs> but you have a, an appointment with the doctor, entonces pues le va a decir que sí. Ay, a los tres. An appointment. Uh -huh. o sea, Hombre, yo, yo una vez tuve una cita, it was terrible, because as you say, three months, and when I went to the appointment, They told me, no, you won't pass today. And I said, why? Because the doctor died. I said, like, okay. When did the doctor die? In October. My appointment mm. was in December. And they couldn't <laughs> tell me that my doctor was there. Imagine. <laughs> Fascinado <laughs> cuando el doctor está de vacaciones. Cada uh -huh. Vaya, pero si está de vacaciones, pues sí, vea. Pero si ya se murió hace tres meses y no ¿Eh? le pudieron decir que se había muerto y que sacar otra cita por teléfono, por lo menos. Uh -huh. And it was, a, it was an ophthalmologist that the appointments were about four or five months. So I have waited a lot of time to get one appointment. And when I went to see de doctor, se le ocurrió morirse al pobre doctor. <risa> so, <it> was terrible. <risa> Imagine, me voy que me llaman por allá. Ok. Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Hello, ¿qué me cuentan por aquí? Uh, just a question. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, We have to make um, a permission form. That's sí, you have to complete yes. the form. Ah, okay, okay. So you We have not... you have to think about the reason for your permission and complete well the date when you want the permission and all the information that you have there in the form. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I am not too lost. <laughs> no, of course not. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya, entonces, la, lo que me dijo que le tradujera se traduce como este, legal. Uh -huh. eh, pro, produce, ay, esa palabra que procedures. Procedure? Ah, procedure. Procedure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Legal procedures. ¿Qué quieren decir? Eh, trámites legales. Ok, ya. Yeah. O, oh, um, uh, puede ser también um, que estoy pidiendo permiso para sacar una partida de nacimiento, que es como común acá. Ajá, uh -huh. to go get a. Uh... A birth. a birth certificate. Ajá, a birth certificate. To get a, a birth certificate. To get a birth, birth. certificate. Ajá, ok. That's very common. Ajá, that's true. You mm. know, when I have to ask for permission, I only call. Hey, hello, I'm not going to go today because I have an emergency. Qué galán. <laughs> say, oh, okay, okay. Thank you. And that's it. That's nice. It's easy. It's easy. You don't have to complicate too much. See. But in some companies, there are a lot of procedures to follow. Yes, I know. I know many. <laughs> yeah. But in the nombre puso su nombre. Mm, sí, usted ponga el suyo. Mm -hmm. 
Aquí tenemos, mire, tres razones ya. Por las que podemos pedir permiso. Sí. Eh, teacher and manager signature es como a la persona que el, tenemos que dirigirlo. Jefe. Sí, el, el jefe. jefe. Ese es el jefe el que firma ahí. Y el otro y el de Human Resources. Human Resources. El de Recursos Humanos, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, ese es el de Human Resources. I am my own Human Resources. Ah, ok. Ah, por eso le sale fácil el permission. <risa> <risa> So you say, aha, uh -huh, human resources, do you give permission to Joanna? Y Ruth dice, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. ah, uh, yes, of uh, course. Of course. How many days do you need? Oh, only one. Ah, only one. Why not two? <laughs> Why don't you take two? Okay, that's nice. Oh. Okay, teacher, finish. Excellent. Yo creería que todos, ¿verdad? Yes. Me lo llevo ya. Ok, bye. Bye, Grace. Copio, Grace. Ay, gracias. Sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Ah, bye, bye. Jeje, sorry. I'm silent. I would like to see a couple of forms. Who wants to chair? I would like to see. Claudia, Carolina. Hello. <laughs> Okay. La perdí, permítame. Ajá, Claudia, Carolina. ¿En qué nivel anda? Ay. Uh -huh. Oh, teacher. Se le perdió. Se activó eso. Mira mi pantalla. Se murió muy rápido. Sí. Se ve que no se ve. El WhatsApp, el que se ha activado. Sí, porque me, me da... Ay. Yeah, bueno, yo, sé, yo sé que se puede. De repente le puse eso y... Uh -huh. Esta es la que hice. This is my field. Yo voy al frente. ¿sí? Check Solo desactive la pantalla para que pueda volver a compartir la, uh -huh. la pantalla. Ahí le aparecen varios cuadritos de qué es lo que quiere compartir, eh, Carolina. Sí, permítame, ya le voy a dar. Ahí está. Y hoy no me escuchaba. Sí, hoy sí. Ah, oh. hoy sí. Now we see, but we do it. Okay. This is my permission first. Okay. Uh, in, in my case, in my job, uh, first, uh, we, we enter the, the permission in the system. We have a system, and the system you um you write the reason and you get present mm -hmm. 
And so, esta, the next, uh, tipo, my uh, boss, uh, llamita, así como, como de luz, sen, sen aprobar. Approved. Approved. Uh -huh, um, approved. That's all. It's very easy. <laughs> and human resources doesn't have to sign. No. Okay. It's not necessary. Hey, perfect. Thank you, Claudia. One more volunteer. One more volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Uno. Solo tengo tiempo para uno. Ah, pues victim, Claudia. Okay. <risa> de paciencia, de paciencia. Yo, yo, yo llegué como a nivel 30 de venir a pelear contra Mari. Jonathan David. Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan. Fue escogido como víctima. Vamos a ver en qué grupo estaba Jonathan. Ay, estaba en el grupo de Adriana, David, Luz Angélica. ¿Qué? No. <ríe> Ay, bueno. Ahí está. Sorteados. Sí, ahí está. Ok. Display. Yes. Okay, the steps is number one, you need to write your name. Number two, you need to write the date when you need the permission. Mm -hmm. Then you need to explain very clarify the reason for your permission. Go to the manager and ask him to sign your for the form. And then go to the human resource assistant and ask him to sign your the form. Okay. In your case, human resources has to sign, David. In this case, is the uh, Adriana. Adriana. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh, yes. Adriana's. Uh, the Los Angelica. De Los Angeles eh, Company. Ok, ok. Excelente. Ok, very good. Vamos a ver. Ah, ok, bueno, pero este es para la gente que tiene clase. Nosotros no. Porque terminamos mañana. Vaya, a ver, a ver, a ver. Let's go to the attendance. ¿A quién le dije ayer que se queda conmigo? Yo no me acuerdo. To me. A Noé. A ah, me. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, let's go to the attendance. Eh, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Present teacher. Esta silla como que se me va yendo, se me va yendo. <ríe> Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin, hello. Nota. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Karen. Oh, yeah. um, Mm 
Kevin Rene. Present. Present. Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Luis Mauricio nota. Noé. De los logros se marcha. De, de... Present teacher. Noé. Yes, present teacher. Ok. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Ok. Les voy a mandar un link. Oye, para que hagan ahí un su extra. Extra mile. Como um, para que practiquen giving instructions. Este trae un vídeo y de ahí unos ejercicios basados en el vídeo. Así es que les va a gustar. Espero yo, ¿verdad? <ríe> bueno. Ok. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Recuerden que <ríe> la carta de satisfacción no la llenan solitos, sino que la sí. llenamos juntos mañana. Por... Ok. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Good night. Bye. Night. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good, Good night, night, teacher. See you Monday. Good See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Monday, me di. 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 Hi, Noe. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, ahorita, pues, es unas labores. Uh, después de clases, eh, me voy a incorporar al trabajo otra vez. Oh, my goodness, really. Ay, qué tremendo. Sí. Vaya. Tell me, do you have any questions? Uh, no, solamente que, que dice que, digamos, bueno, creo que todos tenemos esta barrera, ¿va? Uh -huh. La, eh, de que casi, bueno, todo el día hablamos español, ¿va? Entonces, y es una barrera muy bastante costosa porque casi cuesta practicarlo por esa misma razón Exacto. aquí 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 todos hablan español y <risa> aunque quisiera uno practicarlo ¿no? le cuesta bastante uh -huh. Uh -huh. mire teacher yo este me ha aprendido creo no menos va unos 300 verbos de la lista entre regular y regulares hey. hey, excelente sí. That's great. Pero este, este, ya a la hora de expresarlo cuesta un poco eh, eh, mezclarlo ¿va? con los pronombres y todo, formar las oraciones. Me, yo siento que me cuesta un poco. Mm -hmm. Vaya. What can help you eh, learn or use or be able to make your sentences is reading. So that's a good practice. When you read you get like more uh, confidence to start writing sentences. And that will give okay. you also uh, the security, the knowledge, the vocabulary that you need 
uh, to be able to write or to make your own sentences and to communicate a little bit better, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, reading helps for writing and listening helps for speaking. That's why mm -hmm. uh, I'm sending you, if you notice from time to time, I send you uh, links to the, to the chat, to the WhatsApp group for you to do some extra practice. And remember that in the manual, there are also some links that you can visit, right? Some of them mm, are okay. exercises, some others are videos. So you can perfectly enter to the link and do the exercises given, right? Sometimes okay. they give you a, or they share with you videos. You can watch the video and that way you are practicing your your listening and try to make notes, okay. right? Try to make notes uh, based on the videos that they are sharing. And some other cases, they are links to reading, so links to exercises for you to practice reading is, uh, and for you to practice structure. So all those things will help you, right? Apart okay. of being in the class and practicing with your partners, another thing that can help you is watching videos, reading, uh, doing exercises online, doing the exercises provided. Uh, that will help you more and will give you more confidence. At the moment that you have to make your own sentences, you will feel like, oops, I, now I can do it, right? But reading, okay. definitely, definitely a reading is a clue right? Because when you read, you get more confidence and you get more vocabulary. And okay. because you need to have not only the verbs, but some other words so you can match, right? And as you see, we are studying the different structures. Try to be using each of your verbs in that context, right? Of the new structure, for example that we are using mm -hmm. and the moment you start trying to use them you will see that you will be able to to be creating your sentences but you need to try okay. and it doesn't matter if you make mistakes right don't worry about that what is important is that you go trying trying to do okay different things and different sentences mm -hmm. okay I don't know if you have any other question, eh, Noe. No, solamente es. Uh, what about the platform? How are you doing with the platform? Ah, uh, platform. How are you doing? Eh, estoy bien. Okay, okay. In the exam, the exam is already there, right? At the end, you can find uh, the exam and start doing it. So by tomorrow, that is the day when everything has to be finished or has to be done, you are done, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Because okay. You, have, you have to finish the homework unit number four, and you also have to finish the final exam by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, you have to continue working, so sorry for you. <laughs> okay, okay, I need a coffee, teacher. You have to drink a cup of coffee. Sí. Eat something, eat something and drink a cup of coffee to it. Sí. Get energy back to continue. Until what time? Until uh, uh, 12, uh, 12 midnight. Until 12 midnight. Midnight, midnight. Until midnight. Well, almost that's yeah. about the time I'm finishing everything and going to sleep too. Uh -huh, midnight. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not easy. Okay. <laughs> sorry for for sorry for me. Sorry for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Sí. But a good cup mm -hmm. of coffee mm -hmm. definitely will help. Right? Will give okay. the energy that you need to finish. Okay, teacher. Yes. Well, see you tomorrow then. Have a nice day. Okay.
Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye, bye. teacher. Goodbye. See you. Bye-bye. See you.